Gabriel, and today we'll be testing the Parabolics 45. And the theme of our shoot today is the Pantone color of the year, yellow. Hey guys, so here we have the Pantone color of the year yellow photo shoot with model Bella, which you can follow in the description. We have the links for her pages. Now, even though we introduced this as the Parabolics 45 test, this is not a review of the Parabolics. Um, I'm also be using my favorite uh, beauty dishes like the Mola Demi at some point. But this is more like my first time using the Parabolics on a professional shoot. And I wanted to make sure that I get to learn it better before I do a formal review. Because, you know, you have the different uh, the distance from the subject, uh, the arm, adjusting arm, uh, the different positions. For example, in this one, I made a mistake and did the focus at 0 or 1 when it's supposed to be 2.5 for this particular size. So when I was thinking that the, the light was focused, it was actually at a spot that it's not supposed to be. So just wanted to make sure that this is not a review. The review is coming, but I need to get more experience with it before I, I decide to do it, which in this case, I think I already have because I've done several shoots after this one. So, but I'm, I'm working on that review, especially because I'm going to be uh, getting a, a brown color para 133. So I'm going to be doing a full side-by-side -side test. Uh, so this would be very exciting because I haven't seen anyone do that on YouTube. So I want to see how they compare.
doing a quick test on the Mola Jenny. So this is most of the samples that I wanted to share with you today. Now, the reason I called this as a non-parabolic review is because this was the very first time that I used it. And uh, as with any tool, you need to learn it well before you can actually review it. And uh, I learned so much more on the next pho photo shoots that I did using it that I know that the quality that I was able to get in here is nowhere near close to what I'm getting now. Thus, I'm, I'm not going to call this a, a review. But at least you get to, uh, to get some idea of how it looks. But uh, a parabolic uh, modifier has so many uh, uh, features. Like when it comes to using the adjusting arm and the way the light is it's uh, rendered, it just gives you so many looks. Like from the very focused to the uh, to the flooded or unfocused. So it changes the complete look of the of the modifier and what you get and the shadows and highlights and all that. So. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the next photo shoots that I'm going to be uh, sharing. And as I said, I'm getting the um, Para 133 from Run Color for a complete side-by-side -side, uh, photo shoot comparison. But uh, for now, I think it did good here, but you will see the difference when the next photo shoots that I'm going to be posting. But you also got to see the Demi, which, which you can see right here. And I also, you, you got to see some shots from the uh, Glow Beauty Dish. So I hope you enjoyed the shoot. And this was my very last photo shoot with the A7R4, so it was like a farewell shoot. Now I'm using the Canon R5, as you probably saw from my previous video. So anyways, thank you for watching, and enjoy the following bloopers. And rolling. Hi, I'm Hilson from Hilson. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah. Recording. Hi, I'm Kelsey Bella here with Gabriel, and today we're doing a shoot themed on the Pantone color of the year. And first off, we'll start out. First off, we'll start out. I was so close, that was pretty good. <laughs> cool. Now we'll be doing a quick test on the Mola 20. On the Mola what? You, you said Mola 20, right? Demi. Demi. I hope you liked the video, and remember to like, comment, subscribe, and Thank you for watching.